everyone, a few things before we start square one. I'm so excited and I hope that you love your project. So, any time during the video that you need to pause, feel free to do so. Um, with me, we're going to pause after every step just to give you enough time to complete your project. The second thing, I would love for you to draw in pencil first and then trace over your lines with Sharpie. I always draw with Sharpie so you can see, but I would like for you to draw with pencil first so you can make any changes you like and then trace over with Sharpie. Lastly, when we're coloring, we really want to take our time. So go slow, make sure we leave little to no white space when using our markers, and most importantly, I really want you to have fun, so enjoy. All right, everyone, we are going to create our abstract line drawing, but first we need to draw the frame. I'm going to be drawing four lines on each side to create a square frame. These are about an inch thick. You can use a ruler or you can uh, do it freehand, but you want it to be about an inch thick on all four sides. Here we go. Now, in each of the squares on the corners, I want you to put in a shape. It can be the same shape or it can be different shapes. Put in your shapes in the squares and then in the rectangles on the frame, I want you to choose a line or design. You can use the same line on all four sides or just on the top and bottom and then do different designs on the sides or again, same design or different designs. It's up to you how you would like to decorate your frame. But the rectangles will have lines and the squares will have shapes. Now for our abstract drawing, we're gonna be putting in six lines, six different types of lines. And we're gonna start with our first two lines going from corner to corner making an X. You can use the lines that I use or you can use your own. I use a zigzag line and a wavy line going from side to side and it creates an X. My next line, I do a loop going straight down the middle and I make sure that my loops are big enough so if it goes over, I have enough room to color in. We have to color in all these different areas. Here is my fourth line. And so now I'm not dividing in the middle. I'm kind of going on the sides. I'm doing a castle line for my fifth line. And again, make sure that if it goes over another line, it's enough space to color because each of these areas is gonna be a different color. And here's my sixth line, again in a corner. And I would not add any more lines than this because you have to color all these different spaces. You really need to plan out which colors you're gonna put in. I go ahead um, and I would go ahead and put in your name and the year using a Sharpie. And then at this time, we're gonna start coloring. When coloring the frame, I would use solid colors on each side. Try to leave little to no white space. And now you're gonna choose your colors color in three blocks at a time. You'll see that the colors will not be touching and soon your entire canvas will be filled. Put the colors in opposite corners at first. This will help you when filling in all of your spots. And there you have it. This is your abstract line project. I hope you enjoyed.